Jimmy Fallon welcomes Miles Teller. NBC Tonight. What is the pronoun in the sentence, I suck at trivia? <laughs> Who should star in the Book of Moron? I'm looking at your names. Dim quit. I call them as I see them. Season 18 is just blowing my socks off. Ah! Mic drop. I didn't like it. What? I loved it. Ah! NBC4 News at 11 starts with breaking news. And that breaking news is from Long Beach tonight, where a standoff involving a pursuit suspect appears to have just come to an end. Ileana Moreno live overhead in News Chopper 4. Ileana, this one went on for hours tonight. Colleen, this is a situation that started at around 6.45 and just came to an end a few minutes ago, as you said. Where we're at is Golden Avenue and Melrose Way, just across the street from Cesar Chavez Park. But let's show you some ground tape of uh, an arrest that was just uh, taking place here just a minute ago or so on Golden Avenue. One man taken into custody, possibly the man who police were looking for in connection with a uh, assault with a deadly weapon. That that happened in downtown Los Angeles at around 6.45 in the area of San Julian and 12th Street. That was a robbery where a gun was used and shots were fired. At this point, it's unclear if anyone was actually injured in that shooting. But let's show you a second tape. That man uh, who then led officers on a pursuit following that robbery ended up here in the area of Golden Avenue and Melrose Avenue where he ran into an apartment complex, possibly armed. So that is when officers moved in and evacuated residents from that apartment complex to make sure that everybody else uh, was going to be okay and they could focus their attention on trying to take this young man into custody. He was described as being anywhere from 18 to 20 years old. And as we said, just within the last few minutes, it appears that one person is in custody and we're waiting to hear from the LAPD to confirm that that is in fact the man that they were looking for now for the last several hours. That's latest here from Long Beach in News Chopper 4. I'm Eliana Marino. Let's send it back down to you in the studio. All right, Eliana, thank you for that. Also developing tonight, police in Irvine want to uh, find the man that you see here in this video. They say he groped a woman near the campus of UC Irvine. NBC4's Darsha Phillips live right now in Irvine with more on this brazen attack. Darsha. Yeah, Colleen, we're about a mile and a half away from the UC Irvine. feel very safe walking at all hours of the day until they saw this video. Irvine police asking the public to take a good look at this guy, a suspect in a sexual battery in Irvine that took place on Saturday near scholarship and graduate. Surveillance cameras captured the suspect driving up in a white Nissan Sentra, parking briefly while the victim walks on the sidewalk. Then the suspect appears to follow the victim in his car. The video shows him park, get out of his vehicle, and begin walking in front of the victim. When the victim crosses the street, he gets behind her, grabs her, and according to police, gropes the woman before running back to his car and driving off. I was shocked because I didn't expect that. People who live in the area are disturbed by the crime. They were so freely walking uh, every night, even in the dark night. Uh, so now I I will be more cautious and by while I'm walking. Everybody should be more more careful, more vigilant, just more aware of their surroundings in general. So mm -hmm. I have my dog with me, so he'll help a little. Police describe the suspect as a man in his 20s, 5 foot 10 to 6 feet tall, weighing 160 pounds with reddish brown hair. If you believe you saw this man on Saturday, police say he was wearing a gray t-shirt, black shorts and black sandals on that day. People who live here pointed out how bold the suspect was committing this crime during daylight hours and in an area equipped with numerous surveillance cameras. They know that this area is really safe and that's why we, we choose to live here. If you recognize the man in the video, you are urged to contact the Irvine Police Department. Live in Irvine tonight, I'm Darsha Phillips, NBC4 News. Tomorrow, all eyes will be on a federal courthouse in Miami where President Trump is expected to face charges connected with his handling of classified documents. It marks the first time a former president 
has been charged by the department.